Welcome to Build the Weight Loss Practice of Your Dreams. If you have questions about how to build your weight loss business, Carol Clark has answers. Join her each week as she and her expert guests share actionable steps to better outcomes for your clients and more revenue and referrals for you. It's time to experience your ultimate success and enjoy what you do each and every day. Hello, it's Carol Clark, your bariatric business coach. And one of the questions I get asked a lot is how do I add weight loss into my medical practice? There's so many practitioners out there that are seeing their clients and obviously two thirds of the American population are overweight. So they're seeing their patients with comorbidities and they wanna help them. And they really know that weight loss is one of the keys to improving those comorbidities. So they'll ask, how can I add it into my practice? The other thing is it's kind of exciting because you're working with someone who's hopefully motivated. You can help them improve their outcomes and then also lower their incidence of all those comorbidities, their hypertension, their diabetes, their sleep apnea, their um, joint degenerative joint disease, all those sorts of things tend to improve with weight loss as we know. So as far as I'm concerned, there's four key components that are important to adding weight loss into your practice. Now in the long run, it's always a good idea to join the OBC Medical Association to become board certified if you can. But in the meantime, there's four things that can get you up and running pretty quickly. The first one is either having yourself as the physician, if you have an interest in that, or one of your extenders, just identifying who's the key person to implement this medical weight loss program in your in your practice. You need to have someone who's championing it. You can also add people as you go along, uh, depending upon how busy you are, but you have to have somebody who's going to be the champion and the person who's going to be doing the bulk of the coaching and counseling. The second thing that you need is an educational program. And I know a lot of people don't think they need education, but they need to have simple educational tools that will help guide them on what they need to be doing and trying to keep that in a positive light. You always wanna focus on what they can be doing versus all the negatives of what you need to not do, cut out, all that sort of thing. So having an educational program that's really able to get that across to the patient is really helpful. And you can do it in so many great ways nowadays, an online membership site, um, and if you can, you can combine that with materials that you give them right in your office, and then combine that with the third aspect, which is that coaching person, that counseling. And you can do that counseling through insurance if you want to, um, with the proper coding, or you can do this as a potentially as a self-pay option. So we've gone over so far. First, identifying who's going to be the champion for the program. Uh, educational materials that present weight loss in a very positive manner and a very realistic manner so that people can implement it in their everyday lives. The third thing is that coaching, that counseling, those visits that you have with them to help reinforce exactly what's going on in their life, what are the barriers to weight loss and how they can break through those. And then the fourth component is retail. And I know that may sound something that you're not really interested in, but retail is so helpful in terms of improving outcomes in a quicker manner and getting those patients sooner into their weight loss program and increasing their motivation. And retail is also a great a revenue source, so a revenue stream. So you're actually adding two revenue streams. One is in your coaching and counseling visits, and the second is with retail. And the great thing about it nowadays is that it's never been easier to implement that sort of a program into your practice. Uh, you can figure all that out on your own, or I also have access to turnkey programs that can be implemented within a week in your practice with all the recommendations. Um, I've set this up in a number of offices so you can get it set up pretty quickly. And the great thing is you can start generating that revenue very quickly. And the educational materials have all been uh, created through a board certified bariatrician and it's all kind of there ready for you to use and we can customize it to your practice as well. So if you want to hear more about that, just reach out to me, Carol, K-A-R-O-L at weightlosspracticebuilder.com. And in the meantime, if you want some free resources, I also have a number of them on my website, weightlosspracticebuilder.com and just click on the free resources tab. In the meantime, I thank you for everything you do for your patients each and every day. And if you're interested in adding that medical weight loss component, um, just go ahead and email. We can set up a quick conversation. It's very low key, just kind of answering your questions and then seeing if you might be a good fit for adding medical weight loss into your program in terms of this turnkey program. Uh, other than that, I'm always available too. If you just want to have a chat, kind of pick my brain about setting those sorts of things up, I can do that as well. So I look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, take care and have a great day. That's all for this episode of Build the Weight Loss Practice of Your Dreams. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and visit weightlosspracticebuilder.com to stay up to date on more ways to build a successful practice that you love with results, revenue, and referrals. We look forward to having you join us next time.